Hey, welcome to this radio channel. And today we're gonna explain in the more basic terms what the Sinpo code is. Now you might have listened to you know mailbag shows and um, listener letters on stations, and you hear them reading you know reception reports and giving out reception as simple code and a certain number um, or numbers, basically five numbers. And you wonder, what is that? Well, Simpo is a code that was made for shortwave listeners to give an idea to a station or to uh, any transmission uh, engineer or whatever, you know, whoever you want to basically give details of how good or bad the signal was at your location. So the Simpo code is five numbers from zero to five, and they are signal tr signal strength for S, interference for I, atmospheric noise for N, propagation, and the O is the average of all of that. Now, if you take really the time to give out, you know, uh, a reception report it's nice to give them the details of the reception. This gives a lot of details basically of the different types of problems or that, that you know, you'll encounter in a signal. So signal, str signal strength. People tend to give signal strength bad um, notes because they can't hear it well. And you gotta make a difference between a signal strength an interference that makes that signal bad. So for example, if the, the signal you're receiving moves your meter full scale on your radio, well one of the first things that this means is that the signal strength is in reality 5, which is the best. But say that same signal is interfered with with local interference of yours, say your computer, that makes it very difficult to copy, you might give the interference note 1. That means signal strong, but there's so much interference that I just barely hear it. What's atmospheric noise? Uh, static crashes, for example, that you might have because of thunderstorms. Um, all sorts of phenomena might cause some um, increased noise. Now here, that's probably the difficult one to know, you know, what's interference that local and what's the atmospheric noise. It's not always very clear. Um, most of the atmospheric noise that I put here personally is static crashes, you know, static crashes coming from thunderstorms and stuff like that. So say the atmospheric noise the day that you do it, pretty good. Uh, not too much noisy, we'll put a 4. Propagation. Now this is the fading that you're getting. You know, do you have deep phase, fast phase? Is propagation weird? Is that signal strength from 5, to, you know, going from 5 to 2 and uh, uh, a, you know, a fast motion? It's kind of weird. So propagation is anything that affects your the signal that's related to the short wave itself, to the uh, ionosphere and so on. So for example, say there are some deep prolonged fades in that signal strength. Well, you can say, well, okay, propagation, say it doesn't really interfere that much with the listening, but it's there. I will put a three here. And finally, this is the O is the average the average of all the notes that are here. So a 5, a 1, a 4, a 3, I'll tend to put a 3, meaning it was average, it was not the best, not the worst, rather average. So that's pretty much how you work, you know, say a signal is very good and you put it a 5. Say uh, last night I was listening to Radio Romania, 97.30 was really strong. In the signal strength, I give it a 5. Interference-wise, slight local interference, but not much, a 4. Atmospheric noise was 
pretty absent a five. Propagation, there was some fading and everything, but overall, a four. Well, the overall here will be a four. So your code will be five, four, five, four, four, which is good. So, you know, take the time to issue, because a lot of people just issue, you know, like five, 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 four, 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 three, 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 three. And they don't really, you know, it's, it's rarely that. It often is something else if you take the time. But you know what? One thing that I've got to say is that a lot of stations don't know what the simple code is either. And I, I would say that probably in the more modern shortwave radio listening experience, more and more stations have no idea what it means. So, you know what? You could do two things. You could make this more simple and say I'm going to use the SIO code, which is also a code used by some uh, stations. And SIO means you take just the signal strength, the interference, and the overall signal. So say I was listening to uh, Romania yesterday. Five was the signal for the interference and the overall four. It's a simplified way of doing things. And, uh, you know, you can explain to the station what each letters mean. And overall, you know what? There's absolutely no problem in just saying uh, the signal quality was good, easy to understand with slight interference. You know what? That probably will work even better for most stations because you're telling them in plain words, you know what? Signal was good. It was easy to understand your program. There was a little bit of interference. You know, that's kind of really clear. And for most stations, clearer than using this code here that a lot of stations don't know what it means and you know more and more people don't know what that means so you can use it but I usually usually will put a simple code just for the I would say the uh, the radio fact of shortwave you know I want to have that simple code there but I'll complete that simple code with signal quality was good it was easy to understand the program there was slight interference. Or, you know, you can say uh, signal was strong, but there were deep fades. But overall, it was good enough to follow your program. You know, these probably give more details to pretty much everyone at the station than the codes themselves. So, you know, I, I put both, and I think everybody should put both, not just put simple. Uh, it's kind of geeky, and, um, you know, you're not really helping a station if they can't understand what you're trying to say. So, even if you put a simple or a SIO, why not, no, just detail in your own words how the signal was and don't force a station in thinking or in doing any guesses and don't think that well we're shortwave guys and they should know this that's probably the worst idea in the world and you know if you think like that you're probably part of the reason why stations want to leave shortwave so hope that simple explanation was clear and i hope you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and hopefully you uh, will continue watching us. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know.